Hello everyone, my name is Fred Woolman and this video is about the HeartStrong class. So I'll, just, I'll lead you through a lot of exercises that we typically do in the HeartStrong class. All you'll need for this uh, session are some dumbbells or some kind of weighted objects. Uh, the chair we probably won't use. It's just kind of there. We'll probably not use it. So we're going to do a combination of body weight things, just no equipment, just moving our body through space. Then we will pick up the dumbbells and do some nice dumbbell moves. Not, I don't have any music. Typically I have some nice music. It doesn't work too well with these videos. So you're going to be forced to have to listen to me. So welcome. You can use this for a nice warm up, nice jump start first thing in the morning, or just use it as a full workout. It'll be about 20, 25 minutes. So let's just start moving. Let's start with a high knee skipper. So it looks like this. We go, you know, we just get moving here. Some of these will count reps. Some of these we won't. Here we go. There we go. Just up. Focus more on your breathing. Doesn't hurt to blow it out so you can feel it. So it's just up, up. Notice knee up, arm back so I can get that upper body stretch. Upper body stretch. Really good, good stuff. All right. Let's just do some simple jumping jacks. So we just go out, out. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, just get no shoulders warmed up, there we go, in, in, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, in. Let's go a little side to side, maybe a little skater routine to start, so just swing it, swing it, arms high, keep them up around the eyes. Left and right. A lot of flex in the knees. Swoop down, push up, push up. Take a big step so you can get a nice stretch, a nice push off in your lower body. You can come across, just touch the toe. That throws a little bit of balance into it. You don't have to do that. Just come across, come across, very good. Throw a few more of those in. There we go. Push those hips out. There we go. Hips out. Hips out. All right. Good. Maybe some arm circles. Give me the back stroke. Back stroke. Draw some big circle through those arms. Back stroke it. Back stroke it. There we go. Forward. I'll kind of do like a crawl move when I swim. Sort of, you know, sort of. Hope you can hear me. I'm going to talk loud, louder. I hope you can hear me. I know the acoustics in here aren't that good. Give yourself a bunch of hugs. Here we go. Wide, wide, tight. Grab the shoulders, grab the shoulders. Wide, wide. Switch the arms, grab the shoulders. Susu, a bunch of those. Here we go. Back. Feel that nice stretch. Open up your chest. There we go. Grab, just throw a bunch of those in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's go through the three basic planes of motion, plus maybe a multi-planar move. These are movements that we do daily, just in our daily activities. We have to move our body through space. We have to move through what are called planes. Now, the three basic planes, I'm just going to use the technical terms, are uh, frontal, a frontal, frontal uh, plane, it's like a window pane that slices your body into a front piece and a back piece. And when we move, in that plane, it'll look like this. It's lateral, okay? It's lateral, side to side. The next one, it's called transverse, 
And that's like a pane of glass right here that cuts your body in half right here, top half, bottom half. So it cuts us. So if we move in that plane, typically we'll do that when we twist. You know, we twist, twist, back up the car, reach back behind us to get something, whatever, some kind of twisting movement. And then the third plane, the third basic plane, the way we move our body, is a pane of glass right here that cuts our body into a left side and a right side. That's called the sagittal plane. I suppose that's Latin means something, but it's called the sagittal plane. So if we move in that plane, we gotta go up and down like this. Kinda like if your hands were on one side of the window pane and one hand's on the other side, you just slide them up and down, right? You slide them up and down. So those are your three basic planes. We move in those planes every day. So let's do, uh, just to get a little workout and warmed up a little more, we'll do 10 reps in each plane, get that breathing going. It's a good, good way to wake up in the morning Warm up for a workout is moving your body through these planes. So here we'll start with the uh, frontal plane, which is lateral. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big, big range of motion here. Eight, nine, and ten. The transverse, that's the one that cuts you right in lower half, upper half, so that's rotation. So to rotate, here's what we're going to do. Just kind of whip those lower body, let, let the legs turn, rotate, elbows come whipping around, point your elbow right in the front, that'll do it. Keep the arms high. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And finally, the sagittal plane, or this, you know, down up. You know, we reach down to tie our shoe, pick something up off the floor. We move in the sagittal plane. So we need some space between our feet here. So we start up here, kind of extend back, reach way under. There we go. One. This one's full body. Two and three. Stretch them out. So it's hips forward. Four. Hips back. Five. Six. To stay relaxed. Seven. And eight. Down and under. Nine. And ten. Very good. Very good yourself a little stretch, a little stretch here, a little stretch here, stretch here, push that up over here, working that lat right there, working the tricep, push it up over here, push it up, just good stuff, elbows back, here we go, let's, let's go like this, give yourself a big, come down here, give yourself a big hug, one shoulder, hand on each shoulder, and hinge it down, stretching it, stretching it, Stretching it, come back up, switch, come down, and back up. Open it up. So that's moving through the three basic planes. Typically, though, we move in more plane than more than one plane. Like if I'm going to reach up on a high shelf and I have to go across, right there, I would be in the sagittal plane. But if I have to go across, all of a sudden, I'm also in the transverse, okay? I'm twisting, all right? And I might even be going a little lateral. So probably just doing that, I cut across all three planes, which is you know, better exercise, more realistic. So let's do 10 of those. And this is the way that's gonna look. Get your feet apart a little bit. Put your arms in here like this. And I'm gonna twist and reach up across, so I go, up, I let that outside heel come up, get all the weight over on the front here. So it's, I reach up here, push down here, come back in here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab some air, blow it out. Grab some more air, blow it out. Okay. Okay. So let's do a little uh, four exercise set. It's called the nitric oxide workout. And that's a name somebody gave it a while back. But all it means is, is we'll go through four different exercises. And if we end up speeding them up, go faster and faster, supposedly we will generate in our body this uh, hormone called, this substance called nitric oxide, which uh, makes you feel good, okay? So we're not gonna worry about that, but here's what we're gonna do. First exercise is a squat. So let's assume our good squat position, feet forward, maybe shoulder width. Just check it out, what's a good squat? We push the hips back, I'm just gonna reach out. It's basic, classic squat, and come back up, shoulders back. So sideways, hips back, see how the hips go back like a touching a wall back here, sitting on a little stool. Knees stay over the ankles. Go down and up, down and up. So I sort of turn. There we go. Here we go. Let's do ten of those. Here we go. One, two, three. When you come up, really get some extension going here. Work the front of the body, glutes. Down, four, five, push back a little bit when we come up here, push back, six, and reach out, seven, hips back, eight, hips back, nine, and ten. All right, so that's exercise number one, squat. Now the next one, called the frontal raise. We're going to do a single arm frontal raise. We'll get to our feet again, probably shoulder width. I'd like you to make a fist this time. Palms to the back, knuckles to the front. So what we do is raise that arm, high as it will go, no elbows, just move it from the shoulder, and then push this one back. And we switch. And let the body go with it. So here we go. One, two, three, four. When I say body goes with it, the hips are kind of sliding left and right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a raise, so we're raising and lowering. Nine and ten. Next one is called the half jack. We need a little bit more space here. Open up the feet. Point the toes out a bit into a sumo. All right, we just make a fist again. What we're gonna do is get down into that squat to start. And just bump our fists together right here. Then we're gonna push out of the squat upright. As we do that, these arms go wide as they can up here and they touch up there on top. Let me get back there so you can see that. All right, so it goes down. Up. So hips back, hips forward, but big, as far as you can reach out, arm, arc, swing them out there. That'll be our counter. Here we go. One. Keep your chest up, keep your eyes up. Two. Don't look at the floor. Three. Bump it. Four. Bump it. Five. Hips back. Six, swing them out there. Seven, get weight on there. Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Last exercise is just simply a shoulder press. But well, we do it rapidly. We have no weights, we'll do it rapidly. Point those feet forward, get down into a semi-athletic type position with the hips back. Hips back, knees over the ankles, 
pretend like you're holding a couple dumbbells here. Stay in this position. Don't come up and down. Just stay here. Then push it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Grab some air. Relax. Blow it out all the way down. Inhale. Exhale. Give me another one. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, like so many body weight exercises like we've been doing, we can up the game a little bit if we add resistance or what's called load. It makes the muscles work a little harder, requires a little bit more control and precision. So let's add the dumbbells to that last set that we just did. So I'm grabbing my dumbbells. You pick up whatever resistance you have, dumbbells, books, water bottles, cats, dogs, kids, whatever. All you need is a little bit though. I only have five pounds here. So I'm going to move them a lot. So we start with the squat. Now I got 10 pounds more on my frame, so the whole thing has changed a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next would be the frontal single arm raise. So just let them hang like this, palms to the back. Raise one as you push one back. Don't swing them, raise them and lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And the third one, the half jack. Let's give ourselves a little space here. Push the hips back, come down, bump it. One, down, up, two. Let me step it back here a little bit. Here we go. Three, four, hips back. Five, hips back, really work the hips. Six, seven, eight, hang on to those dumbbells. Nine, and ten. And the fourth one is our shoulder press. So feet shoulder width apart, semi-athletic stance, stabilize your body. Only thing moving here are going to be arms. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. We set these down. Put these down. We have a few more minutes here. Let's just finish up with some body weight stuff here. We haven't done a whole lot with the lower body. So let's make sure that we work the hips a little bit and the legs. So we can do that with lunges. So let's just kind of stand good posture and step forward to a lunge. Lower that back knee. Right? That would be a basic lunge. Keep your shoulders over your hips. There we go. And down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. That gives us good quad. Good glutes, hip flexors. Now let's add some arms. Let's get the arms, get the whole body going here. So we'll again do a forward lunge. All kinds of lunges. Forward is good. So I'm going to go lunge and stretch. Come back. One. I'm going to go lunge. Put that knee down. Two. Come back. There we go. Three. Keep those arms high. Here we go, other side. Four. Come on back. Five. Just kind of twist over that extended leg. Six. 
That pretty much gets the muscles that we missed before. Seven. Here we go. Eight. Nine. A little twist, 90 degree. Come back. Last one. And 10. Very good. Grab some air. Blow it out. Grab some air. Blow it out. Give me that old fashioned toe toucher. Arms up, hips back. Just let those arms float down towards your toes. Let them hang. Stretch it out. Keep on breathing. Work your legs left and right. Stretch out the hamstrings. Come on back up. Do that again. Feels good. Come on back up. Do it again. Touch. Hips back. And just do the rag dog. Just hanging up. Hanging out, let the low back stretch. Inhale up to a nice posture. So that will wrap this one up. I hope you do this, and if you did, if you do, I hope you enjoy it. It's good for a warm up, good for a workout, good for it gets you started in the morning. A little routine. So if you attended, thank you very much for attending. This concludes the Heart Strong video.